Hubby is out. Mercatroid in. Hubby is out. Mercatroid in. Um, I need a beer for this one. Uh, cheers. Well, first, um, so this is from my friend Robert. This review is dedicated to you, Robert. Uh, I worked at a restaurant called Walk-In. It's a good restaurant, but I had a bad last couple of years there. <clears throat> but whenever I worked with you, Robert, if you were next to me cooking, I knew everything would be okay for the night. So cheers. Some of my favorite. I got the last two. So I'm reviewing Allison's birthday. I don't need that anymore. From 1981, directed, written and directed by Ian Coughlin, starring Joanne Samuel, who I didn't even snap. It's Jesse from from uh, Mad Max. <clears throat> It's weird because she's a little older than she is in Mad Max, but she looks younger. She comes off as a young person. She plays like a 16 year old, and I, I totally believed it. So it's Allison's 16th birthday, and she's like her friends, they made a Ouija board out of, well, there's no board, they just put letters from, um, from uh, Scrabble in a circle, and they have a yes and a no. And uh, they're using a little scrying, whatever. And uh, this is my beer. Um, they're asking the questions and who they're talking to. And then suddenly the girl that's doing it gets possessed. And starts, and the wind starts blowing. Tells Allison that whatever she does, do not go home on her 19th birthday. And then uh, the girl doing that did the whole thing that gets possessed. She gets killed when a bookshelf falls on her. So cut to like uh, two years later, right before her 19th birthday, <coughs> and she gets a call from her aunt to come home for her 19th birthday. And for some reason I thought she probably forgot about that. Seance they did. And her friend dying, but she didn't. She remembered the warning, so she's a little hesitant. But it's her aunt and her uncle. They loved her. They took care of her when her parents died. And she has a boyfriend. I can't remember his name, but <clears throat> he takes her. And it's cool because it's an Australian movie, and there's a weird vehicle. Her boyfriend drives this weird Jeep. Like, it looks like a beach rover or something. But it was cool. It looks like it'd be fun to drive. So he takes her, drops her off at her aunt and uncle's. But he sticks around because they're going to hang out and like have a date, you know, while she's there. <clears throat> so like, the first day she's there, she um, she goes for a walk and like, don't go past the fence. You know, there's snakes and bugs and all kinds of uh, rodents. So, you know. And she's like, you always told me that. You told me when I was little, you know, not to go there. Like, what are you trying to she's just joking. She's like, what are you trying to hide? And, them, just nothing, you know. So she goes past the wall and she kind of gets lost in the. I'm watching Boxer's Omen. Man, Boxer's Omen is awesome. Anyway, um, she goes past and she gets lost in the, in the shrubbery and then she comes out in this little clearing and it's like a miniature Stonehenge. And then she hears laughter and that was cool. That was like, okay, something's happening. goes out with her boyfriend but then like his her aunt and uncle are like he can't hear I think his name is Peter we'll call him Peter and uh, Peter's not invited to your party and, she, and Allison gets pissed and she's like why not he's my friend I want him there and they're like, no it's a family event and then Peter starts oh and then uh, in the middle of the night Allison is woken up by an old lady this ancient old lady that's like staring at her and scares the crap out of her they tell her it's her great great grandmother, and she's I've never knew I had a great grandma. Why don't you tell me? And they give her some BS, so it's like just to um, placate her. And then her boyfriend Peter, he's really starting. After she tells him about the old lady, he's really like, "What's going on? Like, why don't they want me there? Why are they keeping Allison? Like, 
like in the house all the time and they won't let her go out. <clears throat> the whole thing is there's a ritual. I mean, I knew there's some kind of ritual that they want to do with Alice and I was like, they're sacrifice her or... That's what I thought they were going to sacrifice her. It's just... I was getting um, Rick and Man vibes, but also... Man, that... What's his name? Ari Aster? I think he's kind of a plagiarist because he... He made a... A mids, mids, Midsummer, which is like a rip-off of Wicker Man. And he made Hereditary, which was, I thought was a rip-off of Rosemary's Baby. But now I'm thinking it's like a rip-off of Allison's birthday. <clears throat> and I love movies. I love gore. I love movies like Pieces. Uh, Friday the 13th Part 4. I mean, look at gore movies I got here. Um, Punisher War Zone. Dread 3D, Rambo 4, I mean, I love gore. There's no, there's no gore in, in Allison's birthday. There's no sex, there's no nudity, there's no monsters. <coughs> but I thoroughly enjoyed it and I would totally watch it again. I would give Allison's birthday a solid, I want to give it four. <coughs> I want to give Allison's birthday for Mano's Hands of Fate, but he gets a solid three. It, it just shy of a four, because great ending. Uh, there's some special effects that cool, that po totally work. I, not, and I one part where I thought, oh, that looks stupid, or that's, oh, that's lame. Um, plus, the seven in this box set, like, they've really cleaned up these movies, but Allison's birthday, it still had this grainy, like, just other world quality that you just don't find in, that you just don't find in anymore. And it's, it's in here, I mean, from the very beginning, I was like, this is, again, and it's, it's in an Australian, like, well, it's Australian, this is like the fourth or fifth Australian movie on here. And I was like, man, what else? Oh, well, I mean, not Treasures. But what else, what other, I mean, Australia has made, like, so many great movies that come out of Australia. What else is hidden that's pretty good? Uh, I read some reviews. Someone compared Allison's birthday to, like, a TV movie. Totally. But it's just good. I was kind of shocked, still shocked at the ending. Oh, uh, Allison's friend Peter, he knows this, like, I didn't say she was Wiccan, but she was like a Wiccan girl. She was pretty cute, pretty hot in her, her, her dress and her outfit, I mean her hair. I was like, man, this girl is like... And it's from 1981. I was thinking late 80s, but no, this is from 1981. I was like, wow. Movie I've never heard of. Except for this box set. Um... <clears throat> still have a lot of movies left. See, I'm on Alice's birthday. I still got like, I can't say that word. Loki's a manuscript of Professor Wittenbach. Clear cut. Here, clear, clear cuts, Gory. El Dem Demonio, Dark Waters. I have Dark Waters. Field in England, Anchorus, Fendus Pen, and Robin Redbreast. So, not, that, not too many, like, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I got like nine movies left, but I'm whittling them down. So I don't know where you can see Allison's birthday besides this box set. Man. <clears throat> Someone should just release all these movies in Blu ray, DVD, VHS, whatever. I'll just put them on YouTube. Because they're good movies and fans. Was, like me and horror fans and fans of uh, uh, I don't even uh, can't even think of a movie to compare Allison's but that, that's on its level like just a, like a just a good creepy weird little movie oh man I don't even have a buzz that's gonna have to do it 
but um, yeah, I'm, I got boxes on on. <coughs> oh God. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to say the name of the next movie. Lochica, 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 Lochica. I'm only saying that because it's like Kadaich. Anyway, um, that's it. Austin's birthday is a great movie if you can see it. And yeah, if you're need, if you're hip deep in these movies, check it out. Bye.